Welcome back. As we wrap up on Trading Hour, we're going to leave you with an exclusive conversation. My colleague, Tim C. Jaipuria, uh, the conversation that she had with the Consumer Affairs Secretary, Rohit Kumar Singh. They discussed a whole host of topics like surrogate ads, EV batteries. Uh, they also spoke about the government's concern on misleading ads. Listen in to that conversation. On the other side of the break will be Halftime Report. Thank you for watching the show. Yes, we are concerned of misleading uh, advertisements because we think that the rights of the consumers, you know, uh, get adequately, uh, they get adversely affected by misleading because you're promising something which is not there. Like we had a case where uh, in Corona times, a shirt manufacturer said, if you wear my shirt, you will not get COVID. And they were duly penalized, probably India's one of largest shirt manufacturers. So we keep a close eye on uh, misleading advertisements. We also work with other agencies uh, like ASCII, Advertising Standard Council of India, which are a source of information for us for misleading advertisements. You would have heard of the initiative of this department on IAS coaching institutes who were claiming success for some of the candidates who did not even you know, take part in that uh, coaching mm -hmm. of that institute. So we have struck hard on them. But overall, the uh, menace of misleading advertisement has to be curbed because under the Consumer Protection Act, it's a misleading, uh, it's an unfair trading practice and it needs to be curbed because uh, consumer cannot be taken for a ride by providing uh, misleading information through advertisements. Another key area is surrogate, surrogate advertisements where a lot of alcohol manufacturers were penalized. They were told not to get into surrogate advertisements. Your view uh, and what should be a forward-looking view of this department? So uh, surrogate advertising is a way where uh, the uh, industry like alcohol and tobacco, they try and circumvent the advertising regulation, uh, whether it is banned, and they try and you know use it as a extension of brand extension. So like there'll be an alcohol uh, brand, this will sell glasses with the same brand name. So that is not permitted. And we engaged with the industry uh, in Mumbai and also in Delhi. And we said, no, you cannot do this. And we also have a set of guidelines ready. And uh, we've also asked them that, suppose sometimes they come with an excuse that, you know, I'm not selling this alcohol, but I'm just selling a glass or a soda water or a CD or drinking uh, water, uh, the mineral water. So we said, no, you have to give us detail. And uh, CCPA, which I chair now, has just issued an order about a week back that they have to give us the, the value of the advertising mm -hmm. on the extended brand vis-a-vis -vis the actual revenue they get from the sales. Mm -hmm. Because any uh, normal business practice will have you advertise in proportion of the revenues of that product. Mm -hmm. So if it is out of proportion, that means the surrogate advertising is being indulged into and that's an unfair trading practice. Another key area was uh, coming up with guidelines on battery manufacturers which are used for electric vehicles. A lot of electric vehicles were actually, you know, uh, still trying to circumvent the basic guidelines. Where are we? What is the view now? And uh, how will government try and uh, monitor this space in the future? So there are two aspects when it comes to EV batteries. I think you are referring to hmm. EV batteries. So one is performance and safety aspect for which Ministry of Transport and the Institute in Pune called ARAI, mm. that is making standards and norms. What we were concerned with was the standards for battery swapping. Mm. So battery swapping is uh, you have a two-wheeler or a three-wheeler, you go to a, something like a petrol pump, you give your old battery, pick up a new battery and move on. Hmm. So a lot of uh, work had gone into making standards for that. But then after consulting with all the stakeholders, we realized that if you prescribe standards of size of the type of the connector or the battery management system, which is BMS, then you are actually stifling innovation. You cannot prescribe standards for an industry which is still growing. Mm. And there are technologies coming up, lithium ion is there, then of course there's talk of sodium and solid state and other uh, chemical technologies in battery. So if you prescribe a standard now, then you are stifling innovation. So we said, okay, performance and safety, yes, we should have standards. But on the other thing, the, let the standards evolve 
and let these be horizontal kind of standards. So that is the current thinking in the government.